Man, I've heard of playing with yourself, but this is just ridiculous. Oh, God, what the hell? Oh, God, what's going on? So that pretty much wraps up those five questions. And I would like to tag Kaiju Noir, Dai Kaiju Tony, Steam Iguana, and Dr. Mifune. And here are the- Oh, all right then. Looks like Titan Goji tagged me through the Cyber World's firewall somehow. Gotta get that fixed, but I don't mind too much. The tag here at Trend helps grow this bubble of tokusatsu and kaiju on YouTube by answering five questions and then tagging four more people to answer another five questions. And it looks like it's my turn up on the block. Oh, and before we start, a little surprise. A little firmware update from Ultraman Ultimo. Thanks, man. Love how it looks. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get cracking. Starting off with number one, what is your favorite Godzilla monster? For me, this is a pretty easy one. I've always loved Gigan. His personality, his design, it's just been one that's always stuck out to me. I even have a shrine dedicated to him in my collection, with a bootleg signed by the suit actor Kenpachiro Satsuma. Besides that, I've always loved the Showa Ghidorah, Mogira, and of course, Minya. Number two, what's your favorite non-Godzilla tokusatsu series? Well, this one's kinda obvious. Besides Gridman though, one that I've always loved that's not necessarily tokusatsu is Project Nemesis. It's fantastic kaiju book series by Jeremy Robinson, and is probably the best giant monster literature I've ever read. Definitely will have to make a full video talking about them after I reread them in the future. Number three, what is your favorite kaiju movie, including anything Godzilla related? This one has changed a lot over the years. For the Showa era, my favorite has always been Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, and I remember way back in the day, I really liked Godzilla vs. Megaguirus a lot. But in 2016, that all changed with Shin Godzilla. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, and I think it executes the themes of the original Godzilla in modern times with flying colors. Everything from the story, to the more realistic tone, to the creepy and ever-changing design of Godzilla himself is just something that I love, and I don't think it'll be knocked down from that pedestal anytime soon. Question 4. What is your ideal Godzilla movie? Part of me really wants to say the Godzilla vs. Evangelion movie that everyone thought was going to happen, but just turned out to be a merchandising campaign. Since seeing Eva units and Godzilla duke it out is still one of the biggest reasons I want to visit Japan. But I also think a Godzilla movie about a world overrun by kaiju would be awesome. Not quite to the levels of the anime trilogy, but more so survivors holding up and the last few safe havens left. A few countries just barely holding off their borders with the mecha arsenal they have, and trying to reconnect a now broken and divided world. You could even have different species of kaiju claiming territory across the globe, like Zillas in Australia, or a nest of Rodans in the Grand Canyon. Could even have someone like Jet Jaguar being a Lone Ranger type of character, wandering around the countryside helping survivors in need. I think there's a lot of potential for stories there. It might be kind of basic, but it's still something I'd love to see. And finally, question 5. Are you Team Godzilla or Team Kong? As a wise man once said, Team Box Office 2021. Well, with my answers out of the way, I suppose it's time for me to ask some questions. I tag Super Goji 74, Hadley, Chicken Man, and Spawn Jr. 54. The Cyber World's connection has been a little slow lately, so if I can't get these to you in time, I'll just fax them over. Question 1. What is the biggest Godzilla rumor you believed growing up? Question 2. What's your favorite Godzilla game? Question 3. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Maybe I should look into fixing that firewall sooner. Question 3. What is your favorite Godzilla or other kaiju film soundtrack? Question 4. Have you read very much Godzilla or kaiju literature outside of the IDW comics? If so, what's your favorite? And question 5. What kind of original kaiju would you design to duel Godzilla on the big screen? Well, that about wraps up this video. Sorry if this is a bit late. I was binging the entirety of Neon Genesis Evangelion for New Year's. It's a tradition that me and my friend have. 
But before I go, I just want to thank all my friends who have been and are helping me along the way with this channel. These first few videos have been the first big steps that I'm excited to keep taking into the new year. If you guys enjoy what I'm cranking out too, make sure to leave a like down below and maybe subscribe and hit the bell button. It helps this channel a lot, and I really hope to finally get it off the ground this year. 2020 was a rough year, but now we're out of it, and we're gonna rise up from the depths. And until next time, everyone, Happy New Year, and sayonara.